the American Association of Neuromuscular and Electrodiagnostic Medicine developed this video so you know what to expect during a nerve conduction study and electromyography or EMG test. You've been sent to the EMG clinic to evaluate your nerves and muscles. The tests will help the doctor who referred you determine if your muscles or nerves have been damaged, and if so, how to treat you. Ask your referring doctor how to prepare for the test based on your specific health conditions. Then, the day of the test, bathe to remove any oil from your skin and do not use body lotions. Take your regularly scheduled medications. If you're on a blood thinner such as Coumadin, let the doctor performing your EMG know. Also tell the doctor if you have a pacemaker, hemophilia, or other bleeding disorder. So the second part of the test, we have an electrode. The doctor performing your nerve and muscle testing should be specially trained in EMGs. Typically, he or she will be a neurologist or a physical medicine and rehabilitation doctor. A technologist with specialized training may do the initial nerve conduction study. There are very few risks and side effects from the tests. Your EMG specialist will explain any that are specific to your case. Each study is designed especially for you based on your symptoms. So the length of the test is different for every patient. Usually it takes between 30 to 60 minutes. First, the technologist or doctor may warm your body by wrapping you in a blanket or soaking your hands in water. Warming your body helps them conduct the best study possible. Then there are two parts to the study. First, the nerve conduction study uses small electrical shocks to study your nerves. You need to relax your muscles during this portion of the test. Some patients report that this feels like a series of carpet shocks. Next, the needle EMG uses a small needle to evaluate your muscles. The doctor may ask you to move a certain way while the needle is in the muscle you may feel some discomfort during this portion of the exam. We will put all the information together in a formal report. The doctor doing your test may tell you the preliminary results. Okay. Then the final results are sent to your referring doctor. Your referring doctor uses the results to help determine the next steps in your treatment. This was much better than I expected. If you have any questions during your EMG testing, make sure to ask the technologist or doctor. With almost 5,000 member physicians and allied health professionals, AANEM is dedicated to improving the care of patients with muscle and nerve disorders. AANEM recommends you use trained specialists to perform your EMG. For a list of AANEM members, certified physicians, accredited labs, and additional patient resources, visit www.aanem.org forward slash patients.